This video is going to attempt to show you how to set up AutoGPT. Let's talk a little bit about what AutoGPT is, why it's different from ChatGPT, and oh my God, this tool is gonna to be cool. So at the moment, it's not quite there yet. I will admit right now that this video is a little bit before its time. But I wanted to show people how to actually set this up because I know that a lot of people are not technically gifted and I wanted to show you exactly how to do this. The first thing you're going to have to do is go just Google Python and click on Welcome to Python. Go to Downloads and whether you're on Windows, Mac OS, etc. I am on Windows so I will just download and install the latest version of Python. Once you've got that, that's just like installing any other program. If you can't install a program, this video is probably not going to be for you. The next thing you need is Visual Studio Code. The reason, and I didn't know about this, I, I tried coding without Visual Studio Code for months and months and months, and I didn't realize that you were supposed to open things in Visual Studio Code. So again, download Visual Studio Code for whatever platform you're on. I am on Windows, so I will download and install Visual Studio Code. Again, if you don't know how to install a program, this probably isn't the tutorial for you. Once you've done those two things, you can go to github.com slash torrentulino slash autogpt, or you can just simply Google autogpt, uh, maybe put the word github after it to make sure that the SEO works and you are given exactly what you want, which is github.com slash autogpt. Once you've got here, we're going to leave this open because this is the readme. This is how we learn how to do everything. But for now, I'm going to click on code and I'm going to click on copy here. You can also download zip. However, I have the GitHub uh, in CLI, which means the command line. If you want to do that as well, you can get the GitHub CLI by just Googling GitHub CLI and you can install it here. Okay, so you just need to install Git if you want to do it without downloading the zip. However, I would recommend downloading the zip if you're a new uh, programmer or whatever you want to call this. I don't really know what you'd call this. Once you've got the zip, extract it, and you should already have Visual Studio Code. So you can right-click here and press Open with Code. This will now open the folder. I am from... I'm doing this from the perspective of one of you guys, so I'm gonna press yes, trust the authors. So now you have this file here, okay? This is the important file that you're gonna have everything in. If I click on dot, uh, env, dot env template, this is the most important part of this process. You have to put your open AI key here, and you could change the fast LLM model and the smart LLM model, but I, would, I wouldn't recommend doing that. The most important thing is you need an open AI key. I don't know if you still need a Pinecone API key. I'm gonna try it without doing the Pinecone um, API and the Pinecone ENV. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my open AI API key and I'm gonna put it right here. I cannot show you that process because um, it's, it's like sensitive information. I will show you how to get your API key though. Go to platform.openai.com. This video works if you are not using the GPT-4 API as well. So don't worry if you've only got GPT-3.5 Turbo. It's not a problem. It's not an issue. This thing works just as well on 3.5 as it does 4. Also, 4 is ridiculously expensive. Once you're on here, you can click on API keys here. I'm now going to have to quickly pause the video. But basically, actually, I should be, yeah, you can't even see them here. So you can't see the secret key here. I'm going to delete one here because I've got too many. Um, let's just delete this one, whatever. Revoke key. Right, I'm gonna click on create new secret key, but I can't let you guys watch this because it will potentially be abused. So I'm gonna pause the video quickly and I'm gonna press create new secret key. And I'm gonna copy and paste it into the uh, d, uh, dot env dot template file. Okay, that is now done. That's now inside the .env template. I'm now going to rename this and get rid of the word template like this. And then press enter. So now this should be ready to run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to terminal, new terminal. And I'm going to say python scripts main.py. This might not work. 
The reason it doesn't work is because I need to put Python 3 instead of Python. Still doesn't work. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Python and I'm going to add python.exe to path because I think that's what's missing right now. I'm just going to reinstall Python and I'm going to run through this process again. This is one of the things with these kinds of programs. It's really hard to know what the actual problem is, especially if you're not like an expert, which I'm definitely not. So I will show you guys all of this kind of process of me trying to find out why it won't run, etc., etc. Even if that might make for a slightly worse tutorial. Overall, it means that I'm going to not get a million questions. Why isn't it working? How do I get over this mistake, etc., etc.? So this might not solve the problem, but I have a feeling this is going to solve the problem. So we'll just let this install, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to reset everything and try again. We're going to click here to dis disable path limit as well, just in case that's an important thing. We're going to close, and then what we're going to do is we're going to run this command here, which is on the GitHub pip install r requirements.txt. This is probably what the problem was, to be honest with you. There is no file requirements.txt. I can see it right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to do pip install r, and then we're going to try to drag this like that, and then press enter again. Okay, that worked. This will now install all of the requirements that are needed in order to run auto GPT. This is most likely what the problem actually was, but you know, I'm, I wanna show everyone all the troubleshooting that I do in case you have the same problem that I have while trying to do this. Especially if you are not technically advanced and you don't really know what you're doing, I'm really hoping that this tutorial will help unleash you onto the world of AGIs. What is AGI? It means artificial general intelligence. Is this an AGI? Probably not. It's getting there though. And honestly, I've been using this. It's not quite there yet, but what it can do already is so interesting and so exciting and so fun to play with. It's actually insane. I will mention a couple of things. Um, the potential cost of this, just be very, very careful. So if I go on um, usage here, I was using this today and I used $5 worth, although I used even more just writing content the other day. So it doesn't actually use GPT-4 very often, which is probably a good thing because this would be more like $100 if it was using GPT-4. So you might, want, you might be wondering like why you're not using GPT-4 constantly. It's because it would literally cost a fortune if you were just using GPT-4. So we're gonna try and rerun Python 3 scripts main.py and we're gonna hope that it works and it obviously doesn't. So it's saying that there's no file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Python 3 and then I'm gonna drag and drop, which I find works quite well. I'm looking for main.py, there it is. So I'm gonna try and run it like this and see if that works. Oh, that looks like it might have actually worked. Okay, we'll give that a second to see if it's going to work or not. It looks like it has. Okay, so we are now inside Auto GPT. Can I zoom in on this? I don't think I can. Hopefully you guys can read this, but I'll read through it anyway. So, welcome back. Would you like to return to being Entrepreneur GPT? Continue with the last settings. Entrepreneur GPT. Role an AI designed to automatically develop and run businesses with the sole goal of increasing your net worth. Goals, increase net worth, develop and manage multiple businesses autonomously, play to your strengths as an LLM. Continue Y or N. So you just wanna press N and you wanna restart the process. I've been calling my AIs big boy every time. Don't know why, AI name, big boy. Big boy here, I am at your service. Describe your AI's role. I am going to show you the main use case that I have found so far for this. However, I'm sure there are millions and millions of others. So, for example, this is to do, now you have to describe what you want your AI to do. So, for example, an AI designed to autonomously develop and run businesses with the sole goal of increasing your net worth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put an SEO digital marketing assistant for a website called two men dot it now this part isn't that important but you know it, it's it's still good to have so this is the first 
and probably the only use case that I've discovered so far. But goal one is going to be um, to give me a layout for an article called, no, sorry. So goal one should be to find all the headers from the top three ranking articles for the keyword cocktail attire for men. That's goal one. Goal two is to um, rewrite the headers as a, a logical outline and save to outline.text. Once we've done that, you can potentially try and get it to write content, but so far from my experimentation, it's not that good at sticking to and continuing to write content. I'm going to put check how many words each blog post has that is already ranking. Try to identify ranking factors for these articles and um, save to um, ranking factors.text. And then you always want the last one to be shut down, otherwise you might accidentally spend millions of dollars. So I'm gonna just press enter here. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna start thinking, this may mess up and I'm gonna show you immediately how to fix it if there is a problem. If there's not a problem, then obviously I can't show you how to fix the problem. It looks like this is actually gonna run properly. There we go. So, big boy thoughts. I should start by searching for the top three ranking blog posts for cocktail at I for men. This will help me structure my own article and get an idea of the ranking factors. I need to get a better understanding of what is currently ranking for the given keyword for me to help me plan my strategy. So the plan would be use Google search to find the top three ranking articles, analyze their headers and establish the structure they are following, take notes and write an outline of their structure into outline.text, retrieve the word count for each article, identify common ranking factors for the three articles, and write them to rankingfactors.text. Okay, so next action. This is what it's gonna start doing. It's gonna Google cocktail attire for men, and it's gonna find out what's making each one rank. You can either write a Y and press enter, or you can write a Y and then a minus, and then a 30, for example, and that will run 30 actions without asking you the next action. So if I just press Y, it will say command authorized by user. It will do the first action and then it will plan the next action, okay? And then after that, it will give me uh, the choice to say yes or no again. However, I actually prefer to just press Y and then something like 30 minus 30 or minus 40 or hyphen 30 hyphen 40. What that does is it literally just becomes its own little brain and you could, le you could leave it on all night if you put Y uh, hyphen 500 or 5000 or whatever it might be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Y hyphen 30 and then we're just gonna leave it and we're just gonna see what it comes up, up with. The outputs will be here. Um, they should be in the, sorry, they should be in the auto GPT workspace is where they, they're normally put. So we'll see what happens here. We'll see what kind of stuff um, comes out at the end. But I have found that this is currently the best way to create an outline for incredibly cheap. This does the same thing that things like Surfer SEO and other very expensive tools do, but it does it for basically for free, okay? It's not quite free. It's gonna cost you like five cents per article, maybe a little bit less whereas Surfer SEO is obviously much more expensive. You can see it's just doing its thing. I'm not telling it to do anything anymore. I absolutely love this. It's honestly like having a little brain that can scrape websites and it can do a whole lot of other useful things. I just need to find the use cases for it and I will obviously be making videos as I find more use cases. I'm gonna let this load. I'm gonna show you the output at the end and then that will be the end of this video. While this is loading, I, I wanted to talk about another thing, which is hugging GPT, which is going to be even more insane. And you can probably hear it in my voice. I'm getting excited for this. Hugging Face GPT. I think it's sponsored by Microsoft. It's like ChatGPT times Hugging Face. And what they've done is they've basically integrated all of these large language models and all of these um, 
image generators and everything all together into one big old uh, robot that can just do really, really interesting things. Um, I'll have another video on this for sure coming out. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention Hugging Face is also doing a very, very similar thing as well. Okay, so we have our outline.txt. I have no idea what this is going to say. Let's see if this is good or not. Okay, so for now, it hasn't actually done anything. So we're going to have to keep waiting. However, you can see how this is going to take shape. It will just replace the content with the best possible content. And honestly, so far, it's been insanely good. Okay, so as you can see, the, f the final hurdle is kind of stumbled a little bit. Um, it, it's, it's decided to shut down before it's actually finished. But I did do exactly the same process earlier and it gave me this. It's just, it's a little bit buggy still. This is still completely new technology. This is GPT-4 or GPT prompting itself. So obviously it's still gonna have problems. But as you can see, the output that I actually got earlier is very, very impressive. You can now take this to ChatGPT and write an article if you want, or you can continue to try to experiment with this really, really interesting tool and try and get it to mass produce content while you sleep. That's the goal here. It's definitely possible. It's just going to require a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of patience, and I've given you the blueprint to do that yourselves now. Expect more content on this. Expect more content on the playground as well. Thank you for watching, and yeah, I'll see you really, really soon with some more content. Peace out.